Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and we've got an old card to talk about in a new way, because we are getting an errata for a rather old card, actually a very old card. In fact, I believe Gravekeepers were one of the first actual archetypes that were printed into this game, rather than just being a random mishmash of cards that decks became. I believe Gravekeepers was one of, like, the first, if not the first, actual, like, cohesive archetypes that was printed. But anyway... The card we are talking about today is the new errata on the ever, ever relevant Necro Valley Field Spell. That card has always just low-key been incredibly prevalent in several formats as like a side deckable card, as a main deckable card, uh, if Gravekeepers were ever relevant in those formats, stuff like that. Like Necro Valley is definitely a card that's had its stigma on the metagame for literally at varying points over the past decade plus. Like... YCS Atlanta 2010 was won by Gravekeepers just because they got a little bit of new support. And then, like, Gravekeepers as a whole has always been a popular deck, like, dotted around the history of certain Yu-Gi-Oh! formats. And Necker Valley as a card is a very big part of that. It's a very powerful card. And it's gone through multiple erratas in its uh, lifespan. But what we are getting in Duelist Saga is we are getting the import of the OCG errata that I believe was... Like, I think the OCG errata came out in their release of this card in the 20th anniversary pack. I could be incorrect on that, but the Duel Saga set for us is the importing of both the 20th anniversary packs 1 and 2 from the OCG plus a few extra cards that we didn't have before as imports. Uh, but the OCG had an errata on Necker Valley that changed how it worked dramatically. Basically, if you're aware with Necker Valley's current text, you could only use cards like Glow Up Bulb that removed themselves from the graveyard for like effects under Necker Valley, you can only use like Fairy Tale Snow to banish to banish cards out of your hand and summon Fairy Tale Snow from your graveyard as the only card you were affecting. Like basically, if the card you were trying to move around in the graveyard affected itself, you were able to use it under Necker Valley. But that is being taken away now. And basically, the new errata on Gravekeeper's uh, field spell, Necker Valley, is that Gravekeeper monsters gain 500 attack and defense. The static gain is just still there. Cards in either player's graveyard cannot be banished. Negate any card effect that would move a card in the graveyard to a different place. Negate any card effect that would change the types or attributes in the graveyard. So, basically, now you cannot move things by their own effects. What does this mean? This means that Necker Valley hits a lot more now than it did previously and even previously necker valley was still a really strong card for like side deck potential and stuff like that because of decks like phantom knights and burning abyss and stuff existing the like metal foe stuff existing because mithrilium couldn't target cards like it was still a decently strong card you could side it against zodiac from previous formats they couldn't emerald you they couldn't do anything with combo stuff like that but now this card hits even more this card now hits metal foes fusion it cannot shuffle itself back into the deck to draw a card and more importantly, it hits the entire Paleozoic deck. The entire Paleozoic deck is based around summoning your traps from graveyard as monsters. Now, you can, you like under the current text of Necker Valley until we get this errata, you can summon those Paleozoic traps as monsters because they are affecting only themselves and they are moving themselves via their own effect. But once Necker Valley's errata hits next week in the Duel of Saga set, this errata is going to take place, and now nothing can effectively move anything in the graveyard, regardless of whether or not it's by its own effect or not. Meaning that Paleozoic traps in grave will not be able to <laughs> will not be able to come back in any way, shape, or form unless Necker Valley is removed from the field. Meaning that the Paleozoic deck is incredibly reliant now on their MST trap, their Olenoids, to remove Necker Valley, and even then, if they play Olenoids target Necker Valley, they still lose value because the Necker Valley is still active at that point, meaning they will not be able to chain the trap to the Olenoids to bring it back, so they're losing resources in that regard. And it also hits the non-Paleozoic traps that have kind of boosted the deck back to resurgence in terms of being really, really relevant nowadays, which is the really like good trap that was released in Raging Tempest, Lost Wind. Lost Wind, when it's in the graveyard and your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck, can reset itself to the field. That is a card moving itself from the graveyard to the field, and under the current Necker Valley text, that would be allowed. But under the new text, it is a card trying to move itself from the graveyard to the field, which is not allowed. Meaning, the most important new trap that the deck has access to is now also shut down by Necro Valley. 
So this is just a huge potential thing that could actually just affect the format in a very like negative way for Paleozoics. Paleozoics is a deck completely fold to this card now, unless they can get it off the board with something like a pre-established Anomala Karis or one that they're able to somehow summon when it's on the board, or having a copy of Paleozoic Olenoids to be the MST. But basically, other than that, the deck has very few, if not like no other outs in it because you don't need to main back row destruction because your deck has it in the form of Olenoids. And like, <laughs> so what else is there that, like, that you would put in your deck? Would you side in Twin Twisters and stuff? I don't know. I don't know what you would do for the Paleozoic deck because you don't really get value off of that really that much anyway uh, in terms of like a card like Twin Twister. I mean, I guess you can get some value off of it by discarding a trap and then bringing it back. But I mean, still, there's just multiple things that Necro Valley just prevents that keeps the entire Paleozoic deck from functioning. And it also just hits other things in the format. It hits, like I said, Metal Foes. Which is, a, which is a deck that I'm expecting to like see a lot of play in the early format because of its interactions with Balbaboon. Um, like the Metal Foes deck, you can't shuffle back Metal Foes Fusion by its own effect, which is super real, uh, because even with the current Necro Valley text, you could at least shuffle back Metal Foes Fusion and keep setting it from deck, keep you know powering through it, um, and still playing under Necro Valley, but with the current text being changed to the errata, that goes away you won't be able to shuffle back that Metal Foes Fusion, which means that there's literally no way to recur your spells and traps from Grave without outing Necro Valley, because you can't shuffle them back with Mithrilium, you can't banish counters to get your scales back from extra deck, you can't do any of that, and that's a huge factor. And then obviously it's just equally as strong against Infernoids as it's always been, because it says cards cannot be banished. But it also just gets better, because at least with the current text on Necro Valley, if there was a Necro Valley face up, you could banish cards from your field or hand to summon a fairy tale snow from graveyard. It was only affecting itself, it could summon itself back to the board. And that was a very key thing that was game winning in certain situations if you were skilled enough to recognize that interaction and use it at the right moment. But now even that goes away. You can't even attempt to move the fairy tale snow by its own effect. If you have a Necro Valley up and your opponent is playing like a Light Sworn deck, if they mill Wolves, if they mill Trick Clowns, if they mill Felices, those can't come back. If your opponent's playing Dark Worlds and Necro Valley is up, and any of their effects like Gold, Silver, Beige, all that try to trigger to bring themselves back, those don't trigger anymore. This is a huge change to how Necro Valley works, and it's a huge change to how it interacts with other decks, making it so much more potent than it was previously. So, I mean, I believe Necro Valley with this errata is going to be a huge, huge, like, potential side deck card for the format because it literally hits every single top deck in a major way. This card shuts down Infernoids completely and shuts down Paleozoic completely unless they out it. That's two of the arguable, like, three or four top decks currently projected to going into this new format. So, like, that's just insane. Necro Valley is definitely a card that could easily see some side deck play because it is a good floodgate against these decks that literally just does not let them play Yu-Gi-Oh! And it hinders other decks in the process, so it's even a decent side against other decks. Like, it's a decent side against Metal Foes, as I've already said. Like, once their spells and traps are gone, they won't be able to recycle them unless they out the Necro Valley. Uh, so, like, there's just multiple things that just go into this card being a really good potential card for the format, and I'm actually really excited for the errata to be printed, and I never thought I would say that, just because of the fact that it hits so much. This is a card that's going to have to be respected again, and it's a card that's had to be respected for, like, multiple times during its existence since it was conceived back in, what, like, 2004? Like, this card has been relevant at different points for literally 13-something years. <laughs> so I think that's just hilarious. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Do you think Necro Valley is going to be a decent side deck card? Do you think that it's just not going to be worth it overall? I'm, I want to know your, what your opinions are, essentially. But be sure to like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month, so definitely check out the details over on Patreon. the end of this month, I'm giving away a box of Duel Saga, so if you're interested in that, then definitely go check that out. But if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've experienced so far. Definitely check out their site, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual guys, take care. I will see you in the next video. Let me know what you guys think about this.